Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Amy and this channel is home to absolutely everything coloured pencil related. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Swordfish Icon Sharpener. This has been my sharpener of choice for the past two months and I've used it pretty much every day so I have thoroughly tested this product and had some real hands-on experience with it. So I thought that I would just show you guys the mechanics, how this pencil sharpener actually sharpens and just give my opinion on this because I absolutely love this product. So I purchased mine from Amazon at roughly £12 back in November, which I think is a fairly decent price for this type of sharpener. Like a lot of hand crank sharpeners, the Swordfish came with a desk clamp to make the process of sharpening a lot easier. I always opt not to use this though, as I like to move mine around as my desk space is limited, but it is a fairly standard desk clamp. Let's look at the mechanics of this sharpener. The design is fairly compact and it actually measures 6cm by 6.5cm in width and depth and 9cm in height so it's actually a pretty small sharpener and it's a little bit smaller than my Derwent Superpoint Mini so if any of you guys have that sharpener there is a comparison for you. It's just like half a centimetre smaller than the Derwent Superpoint Mini. It has a crank handle on the rear which is metal and not plastic like some other sharpeners so it is a lot more robust in my opinion. When turning the handle it's not as smooth as I would have liked but then it's not really designed to be turned when nothing is actually being sharpened so hey. The front has a really nice design. The pull out tray where your shavings go is nice and clear so you can easily tell when the pencil sharpener is full and needs emptying and the Swordfish logo looks pretty fancy on that tray too. The extending mechanism or the front plate, the button which retracts the teeth and allows placement of a pencil is really robust and it actually requires a fair amount of pressure which is good in my opinion as it means it's going to really tightly clamp around your pencil and it's going to keep it in place when sharpening. The button is a nice size as well and it is fairly ergonomic. I really like that this has a warning on the top of the sharpener prompting users to fully extend the front plate. That is is very handy. The actual hole for sharpening is quite a narrow one and it just about fits a Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil, thankfully. It struggles with fitting pencils in that have labels still stuck to them, so if you're like me and you like to keep them on, it's probably a good idea to take them off and you probably should do that anyway to stop sticky residue affecting the sharpener in any way. The metal clamp teeth actually leave little indents in the pencil barrel and this mars the beauty of a coloured pencil. So if you like that kind of aesthetic look of a coloured pencil then this sharpener and other sharpeners like this probably wouldn't be for you but this is nothing new to this particular sharpener. Most hand crank sharpeners do this and it doesn't actually affect the use of the pencil it's just a little bit unsightly. The sharpener fits both round and hexagonal pencils and it sharpens them both a treat as well as graphite and coloured pencils. The only thing I haven't tried in this particular sharpener is pastel pencils. As I mentioned the barrel is quite small and pencils with a larger barrel like the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer don't actually fit in this which is such a shame. Like most hand cranks, you can remove the mechanism via the back. All you do is twist the large plastic ring anti-clockwise and your mechanism pops out. And the removal ring for doing this is actually quite grippy and it makes for a really easy removal. There's nothing particularly new about the mechanism here. It's pretty standard and it has helical blades. The only thing I'll note is that when fitting the mechanism back into the sharpener body, it is a little bit difficult and it often gets caught on the front plate. This might just be my particular one but it's not as smooth and it's not as easy as I would have liked. So let's see how this thing sharpens. Immediately when sharpening the whole mechanism is a lot easier to use. The pencil gives the mechanism some resistance and it's a lot less stiff than it was without the pencil being inserted. The front plate grips the pencils extremely well and it doesn't slide back or loosen at all. Once sharpened, the mechanism doesn't provide any resistance and you're free to take your pencil out and reveal that super fine point. 
the, this pencil sharpener gives some ridiculously sharp tips and it leaves the barrel of the pencil nice and smooth. There's no furriness or anything like that, which I personally really approve of. Releasing the pencil is just as easy as placing it in. You just pinch the side of the front plate, push that button in, and then you slide the pencil out. I don't really have anything negative to say about the way in which this sharpens. It does a really good job on hard and soft core pencils, even super breakable ones like the Derwent Chinese White and a Prisma color. Everything has the same consistently sharp point, which is perfect for fine details in colored pencil work. Graphite pencils, it sharpens superbly too, leaving the same fine tips. All in all, this is a really fantastic sharpener for the price and you can't argue with the way that it actually sharpens. It does what it says on the tin and that is making those pencils pointy. Sure enough, there are some more sturdy and more expensive sharpeners, but this one serves its purpose more than adequately. This would be a sound investment for any colored pencil enthusiast or for anyone with pencil sharpening needs. So that rounds up my little overview of the Swordfish Icon pencil sharpener. I really enjoy this one. I prefer it over my Derwent Super Point Mini nowadays purely because the points on the Swordfish Icon sharpener just are that little bit more precise, which I personally need for my detailed colored pencil work. So if any of you guys are looking for really, really fine points, then I would definitely recommend this one. And I have left a link in the description of where you can go on Amazon and purchase one of these for yourselves. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up with that button below. And if you're new around here and you wanna see more colored pencil tutorials, techniques, and other bits and bobs, then hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every single Friday and I live stream on Sundays too, which is always good fun. And it's a way I get to interact with you guys. So come and join the growing community here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.